Hello everyone. So this is the part third of this PCF series, which is Power Apps Component Framework series. In the previous two videos, uh, I showcased the overview, explained the overview of Power Apps Component Framework. We created our first Power Apps component, which was related to uh, converting a numeric value to a slider using the field template. And we also talked about the various files, different files, different lifecycle methods, for example, init, destroy, all these things we have already discussed. Now, in this video, I will be talking about that how you can create a solution package and why it is required because we have already created our component, PCF component. Now, you have to ship it to the Dataverse enabled Power Apps or Power Pages environment. So all these things I will be showcasing this in this video. So stay tuned till end and let's start this video. So here we will be talking about how you can create a code component solution package. So basically you have uh, created the solution, you have developed the component, everything is ready and you have also tested it, debugged it. Now you have to create the solution package because it needs to be deployed to a Microsoft Dataverse uh, environment before using it in Power Apps or Power Pages. Now, packaging of your code component can be done in two ways. Either it can be done using the pack push command that is uh, uh, used to create a temporary solution, I will say, which will push your component into an environment, and this will help you in the testing of the environment, uh, testing of the component also in your environment. This approach of using the push command the Power App CLI, uh, Power Platform CLI push command is for only for development environment, I will recommend. It is only great for using during the development of the component. But if you have to move the component from one environment to another environment, then you have to definitely go to the second approach or second way, which is of creating a solution and creating a zip file basically and importing it separately into a Dataverse environment. This can be done uh, manually or in an automated way. We'll talk about it later in this uh, upcoming slides in this video. But uh, these are the two different ways. Please remember how you can package your code component. First is using the push command, which is only used for development purposes. But for, let's say, importing it separately into different environments or uh, for using it in build pipelines or manually deploying it to other de uh, development environments or any other environment, the best recommended approach is the second one. We will see all these two approaches in this video today. So first I will talk about the first approach, which is the uh, push a component to a Dataverse environment during development. This is option one or the first way of uh, pushing your component or packaging your component to a Dataverse environment. So what you have to do is navigate to the Power Platform Admin Center and select Environment. Right click on the Environment URL and please copy that address. You have to copy that link address. Select the project folder which we have created in the part 2 video series and then select that uh, folder. Select the Power Platform tab in Visual Studio Code and select Add Auth Profile. So from here I will showcase the demo in Visual Studio that how you can add the auth profiles and then how you can run the uh, pack PCF push command to package your component to a Dataverse environment. So let's see this in action. Let me navigate to the Visual Studio first of all. In my last video, in the video two of this series, the second video of the series, I told you that you have to install an extension which is Power Platform Tools. So I'm assuming you all have installed already uh, this uh, extension or edit this extension in Visual Studio Code. So once you click on that Power Platform extension, it will uh, show you all the authentication profiles, environments and solutions available in the Power Platform in that particular profile. So maybe you will be getting a button over here, add or profile. It will ask you for the credentials, username and password. Please add that. I have already did that. That's why that add auth profile button is not visible on my screen. Now directly it is showing me auth profiles. Also, you can check what are the authenticated profiles available by using pack auth list command. The command is pack pac pack auth aoth and list. So it will list 
all the profiles which are available in your environment. In my case, you can see one is the Dataverse enabled uh, profile is available of kind database and another kind is universal. All right. I have only one environment as of now, which is the default environment I'm currently using. And what are the solutions available in this environment also can be listed down here. So this will show you all the environments and all the solutions which will be available in those environments. So that is how that is the first step which you have to perform that you have to add the auth profile. Once the profile, the auth profile is added, uh, what you can do is you can first of all build your project, build the solution by using npm run build command and it should be successful. So once it is done, once all these steps are done, the last step for this option is you have to run the command pack pcf push publisher prefix. You can give any publisher prefix, a new one or the existing one. So here you can see that I have used I have used the command pack pcf push publisher prefix. In this case, I have given just MSL. It will take few minutes. It will package your solution, package your project. And finally, it will show you the message that everything is succeeded and solution imported successfully. Importing the temporary solution wrapper into the current organization, it shows done. Publishing all customizations and finally updating the control in the current organization. This is also done. Once this is done, so it means the solution has been put finally packaged in your environment. And I was also talking about this particular command pack auth list. Using this command, you can see all the uh, auth profiles, authenticated profiles available in your environment. The one with the star one you can use definitely as the date for the dataverse environment. So you can see in my case, this is the active one. And if let's say more more than one environments are active, showcasing active in your case, because since I have only one environment, but in your case, there could be multiple environments. So you can use the property pack, auth list, index zero, index one, two, and so on to use that particular dataverse environment in your case while packaging the solution. So that is how you can package it. And once it is packaged, once it is packaged and pushed the push that component to a dataverse environment, what you can do is finally we have to check it whether it is available in your environment or not. So you can navigate to the Power Apps environment, Power Apps Studio. Just click on apps and I have created already created an app where I have already edited. Just edit. I'm just editing that app. Once you uh, are in an app, once you are creating a, an app, you can add your component within the Power Apps uh, using some steps. Those steps I'm going to show you now. What you have to do, navigate to the Power Apps Maker portal and in the correct environment. Please ensure you are in the correct environment. Just click on plus icon here as I'm showing you. Just click on this plus icon, uh, get more components. And in the code component, you will be able to see whatever component you have created. You have to just import it. Once you import it, it will be available in the code component and it is ready to use. You can either drag and drop or edit on your Power Apps screen. So let's see this in action. This is actually loading uh, in the Power Apps. Now, this particular message you will always see because now you have some custom code component within the Power Apps. So I'm just opening the app since I have already added it. That's why I'm uh, uh, having this message, this warning message, which is absolutely fine. So what you can do is that you uh, since I have already added it, what you can do, you can go to get, get more components, click on plus. You can click on get more components here. You will see the canvas and the code component. You have to click on the code component and one more. Uh, one, the component which you have added is linear input control demo. In my case, I've just imported it. Once it is imported, it will be available in a new category, which is code component. And you can add it finally in your canvas in your canvas app. So that is how this is the first way that is how you can add or push a component to a dataverse environment during development. I'm just repeating it once again. This is option one. Uh, this is mainly used for development uh, environment or development purposes for a quick testing. So the command is pack PCF push publisher prefix MSL. So publisher prefix MSL, you can give it a new name or you can use the existing prefix as well. So Till here, I have shown you first option how you can push a component to a dataverse environment. Now let's jump to the second option, the last part of this video, where we will be creating a solution file with Power Platform CLI. 
Now what you have to do in this option is first of all you have to create a solution folder inside the linear input control demo folder and navigate to the folder. So you can see here I have first of all created created a, a folder called MD solution. You can see here MD solution of a folder I have created and I'm navigating to the folder. Now currently I am in the solution folder. You can see here that a folder is created with the name solution. So this is the first step which we have to do. Create a new solution project in the in the folder using the command this command now pack solution init publisher name and publisher prefix. Now this is the command which we have to run. You can see here pack solution init publisher name and publisher prefix in the solution folder. You have to run this command. What it will do that the data were solution project with the name solution created successfully. So what it will do that uh, it will create basically a solution within this folder which is the solution folder and data were solution files were created for this project in the subdirectory. So this is the first step in creating a solution folder and then running the command pack solution in it publisher name you have to give some name and publisher prefix you have to give some prefix. Now talking about the publisher name and publisher prefix value is it must be either same of your existing solution publisher or you can specify the new one also. So you remember we uh, use some MSL in the previous option in the first option here I am using samples. So definitely you can use the new names at the same time you can use the existing solution publisher also. Now if you are not aware that how can I how can I see my existing uh, publishers or a prefix of those publisher. So this is the uh, web API URL which you can use. I have used in my environment. You can see here. This is my environment URL till here is my environment URL. Then you have to use an uh, API data v9.2 publishers and then I'm just using a select query to get the unique name and customization prefix. So unique name I am getting customization prefix. I'm getting any prefix any prefix I can use while uh, using this command which is uh, pack solution in it publisher name and publisher prefix. So this is the first step which I have already showcased you here. Uh, what it will do that once this is done. Uh, it will actually create a data word solution project with the name solution using this command. Now let's move to the next part. Uh, the output of the pack solution should look like this. I have already told you this once the new solution is created. We need to refer to the location where the created component is located because still now only the solution folder is created. Now you have to refer your component. Basically you have to refer your component within the solution folder. So for that the command is pack solution add reference and the path. So pack solution add reference path. You can give the path like dot dot slash dot dot slash or dot dot both are valid. Once you have given this. So it will give you the message project reference successfully added to data word solution project. So you can see here I have given this command pack solution reference path and it gives me the successful message project reference successfully added to data word solution project. Once this is executed successfully you can see here a CDS project file is created solution dot CDS project file. This is the main file or you can say the uh, main file through which the solution has been uh, created this has been created using the command pack solution at reference path uh, and you have to reference the path. Now for path uh, here it is related to the current solution folder that was created under the demo folder. You can also provide the absolute path as well. Now once this is done till here what we have done that we have created the solution folder the solution dot CDS project file has been created. Now finally you have to generate the zip file of your solution. To generate the solution zip file you have to use always the Microsoft build engine or in short it is called MS build and first time always you have to run this command only for the first time you have to run it MS build T restore. This is only the first time uh, the solution project is built you have to run this command in the every subsequent build you don't have to run this command again and again you have to only run MS build. So in the subsequent builds whenever you are changing something and building your solution creating your solution file. You have to only uh, run the command ms build but if you are doing it for the first time you have to definitely run the command ms build slash t colon restore. Now where you will find the ms build because uh, since I'm creating this video on this laptop I don't have any visual studio. So first of all the visual studio is definitely required to be installed on your machine. 
where you are creating the solution uh, zip file. So please uh, read this note very carefully. To run MS Build, you need to have either Visual Studio or Visual Studio Build tools to be installed on your machine. Because if these don't, if this is not available, the MS Build will give you an error that uh, this MS Build is not recognized or it is not available on your machine. So for example, if you are using Visual Studio 2022, so this is the path where you can find your MS Build.exe T Build Restore. So you can write MS Build T Restore directly or you can give the complete path of your MS Build.exe file and you can write T Build Restore. Or if you have installed the .NET 6 SDK, then you can directly run the command .NET Build. So both three of them are valid. I will recommend you go, uh, you go with the MS Build T Restore command and MS Build.exe uh, will only be available in your uh, maybe local path if you have Visual Studio 2022 or Visual Studio uh, Build tools are available on your machine. Once this is done, uh, you have to run the command MS Build again. Once you complete this till here, the MS Build is, uh, command is executed successfully. What it will do, it will create a solution bin debug folder and a solution.zip file will be created. You can manually import the solution into Dataverse using Power Apps once the zip file is ready. So that is how you can, uh, these are the two ways basically how you can uh, maybe create the solution file, import it within the Dataverse environment or for the development purposes, for the testing purposes, without creating the zip file, you can directly use the push command, the pack PCF push command and can see the output of your code component or the custom component. So uh, some important tips before we end this video that the default package which is created, the default solution.zip file which is created, the package which is created is a managed solution. If you want it, if you want to import the solution as maybe unmanaged in another environment, so what you have to do is you have to go inside the solution.cds proj file and solution package type node is there. You can change the value from managed to unmanaged. And there is one more property which is called both. So you can either type managed, unmanaged or both. And accordingly, you can change the package type. Second, uh, instead of the debug mode, you can also set the MS build configuration to release. Because if you are deploying or maybe importing it in a production environment or it's a production build. So how you can specify is that uh, with MS build, you can add this property P configuration equal to release. The third important tip uh, for this video is that if you receive the error message missing required tool MS build.exe or .net.exe, then you also have to might have to add this to your path environment variable or maybe you can use the developer command prompt in the Visual Studio code itself. The fourth important tip, maybe you will see the message do not use the eval function or its functional de equivalents or dependencies. When you build the solution file using the MS build command and import it into Dataverse and run the solution checker. So if you are running the MS build command uh, and importing into the Dataverse, you will sometimes see that do, do, do not use the eval function and its equivalent, functional equivalent. So as I told you that you can definitely use MS build with some, maybe some more property P configuration, P means property, property configuration equal to release. You just re-import it into Dataverse environment and everything will be sorted out. You will not get any message like do not use the eval function. So that's all in this video. In this video, I have explained the uh, how you can package your solution into a Dataverse environment. I have showcased two ways of it using the pack PCF push command and using the solution zip file. That's all in this video. Thank you.